So in this video, we are going to discuss about what all checks does PSC inspector on ship make. So you know there are two types of inspection that a vessel undergoes. One is the flag state inspection that is from flag state control. The other one is the port state control that is PSC inspection. These two are uh, these two inspections are very important. If any deficiency is found, the vessel can be detained. There are other things as well. There are observation, non-conformity, conformity, which I've already covered in ISM code video. You can watch that. Those are important uh, point as per oral point of view. Now, when we talk about uh, PSC inspection, so I have already only listed the reference words for you. So you can listen to, I'll be explaining each one of them. Now, is the ISM code applicable to the ship? This is the first check that the PSC inspector is supposed to do. Now, is ISM certification on board? This is the second check. And then we go and our certificates and particulars in order. Certificates and particulars, whether they are in order or not. Is there a company safety and environment protection policy and are the appropriate crew members familiar with it okay company safety and environment policy and crew members must be familiar to it okay next when we talk about is that can senior officers identify the company responsible for the operation of the ship and does this correspond with the entity specified on the ism certificates okay so this is the other inspection that he's supposed to make then we come across and then he says that sick, is that can senior officers identify the designated person okay can he identify the designated person are procedures in place for establishing and maintaining contact with shore management in case of emergency are programs for drills and exercises okay drills and exercises to prepare for emergency action available on board how have new crew member have been made familiar with their duties and their instruction new crew member duties and these instructions available which are essential prior to sailing can the master provide this is very important. Can the master provide documented proof of his responsibility and authority, which should include his overriding authority? In case the safety of the crew or the environment, the company cannot instruct the master. So he has the overriding authority and he's supposed to take that. Does the ship has a routine maintenance and is there records available? Have non-conformity, have non-conformity, accidents, hazards, incidents have been reported to the company and has timely corrective actions been taken by the company are there procedures in place to maintain the relevant documentations procedures in place to maintain the relevant documentation and then when we talk about these audits that are these procedures in place intended to internal audits and have internal audits been carried out psc officer normally does not examine the contents of non-conformity resulting from internal audits. If detainable deficiencies and or many deficiencies are detected, the PSC officer will use his professional judgment to decide if this means a failure of the safety management certificates. So these are different checks that a PSC port state uh, control officer that he's supposed to make. Thank you so much.